Ndio hivyo swali lingine Una girlfriend Mbona leo una maswali mengi lakini Ninahitaji kumjua mtu ninayetoka naye out Ni naye So unadhani anajisikiaje ikinuna na wewe au sasa hivi uko na mimi yeye uko huko na nani Wala hata sijamchiti ila nahitaji mtu wa kuzungumza naye Unajua sipendi kumsababishia mwanamke mwenzangu maumivu eh Kwani kuna lolote baya tunafanya au nimeshawahi kufanya chochote na wewe Hapana ila natakiwa uongee naye kabla Okay kwa sasa hatuna maelewano mazuri mimi na yeye na kwa kuwa we ni rafiki yangu nilitaka kuzungumza na wewe badala yake Ndiyo, ni marafiki lakini lakini nini nimekuja kwako badala ya kunisikiliza kuwa nina shida gani umeanza kunihoji Hamna sio hivyo nilikuwa nahitaji kujua mtu ninayekutana naye Kama unahisi unijui kiasi hicho cha kutokuniamini unaweza kwenda Jairus, samahani, nilikuwa tu nataka kujua wewe ni mtu wa aina gani. Na sijui ni kwamba nimesikia mengi kwa watu kuhusu wewe. Nilihitaji kujua. Ungeniamini na uniache niamue mwenyewe ni muda gani wa kukuambia? Na sio unilazimishe kukuambia kila kitu kwa muda usiokuwa sahihi. Sijalipenda hilo. Okay, samahani. Nimeshaomba msamaha. Kama unataka niondoke, nitaondoka. Samahani lakini nilikuwa na kukumbusha tu. Unapokuwa rafiki yangu una deal na mimi na sio watu. Hivyo ziba masikio yako pale watu wanapokuwa wanasema. Hii inatuhusu mimi na wewe. Hatuhitaji matangazo wala wadhamini. Nimeelewa. Sahau kuhusu hilo. Ehe, umenitia nini? Nisha sahau nilichokuitia, lakini unaweza kunisindikiza sehemu. Nahitaji kurefresh. Aha, sawa. Ila nahitaji kubadilisha nguo. Mbona umependeza tu? Hey, samahani. Mimi ni msichana. Nahitaji kuonekana vizuri na romantic. Okay, vyovyote unavyopenda. Utanisubiri hapa au utanipeleka? Na kusubiri. Lakini nahitaji kuwahi au huna haraka sababu kutembea itanichukua muda. Chukua boda boda nitamlipa. Kweli, lakini sawa. Itakuwa ngumu kumsahau bahati. Alikuwa simple sana na hana complications za kisichana. Hey Katharina. Hi Judith. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. When are you going to introduce me to Bahati? Today. What time? Right now. That is the reason why I'm here. Sorry, I need to change clothes. Can you wait for me? No, you can take your time. Thanks, my friend. Ooh, Santi. Have you started learning Swahili? Yes. I'm going to change my dress and comb my hair. Okay. How do I look? Good. Please say something like perfect, gorgeous, or anything else I need to know if I'm looking more than good. Why are you so anxious about impressing Bahati? I don't know. I guess it's too early to say. Okay. Bahati mambo. Poa, mzima wewe Judith. Mimi mzima, sijui wewe. Nashukuru Mungu kwa kweli inaendelea vizuri. Karibu. Asante Bahati, ila nahisi namjua Katharina. Namjua vizuri tu, sijui labda ana kipya. Hamna, alikuwa na shida tu na msaada. Msaada gani huo ambao wewe kumsaidia? Kwenye kukompile research yake na kuandaa ripoti. Kwani wewe pia si umefanya research? Unashindwa nini kumsaidia? Bahati, sio kila mtu alifanya research mwanzo mwisho kama wewe. Wengine tulifanyiwa. Ndio umpeleke kwa huyu ile kufanyia. 
Kwani mbona siku zote unatuaga msaada kwa watu kwenye masomo au kwa vile huyu ni mzungu? Hata mimi najua yeye ni mzungu, ila ina maana hawezi kujiongelea mwenyewe hadi pawe na middleman. Hamna mimi sio middleman, ila aliniomba. Mimi nilipoona siwezi nikamwaahidi kumuunganisha na mtu atakaye msaidia. Okay, mwache mwenye aseme anataka msaada wapi? Katharina, she's ask where do you need help? Alafu sikilizeni, sina nisichokielewa. Kama anaongea, aongee direct. Sio kunifanya siju Kiingereza hapa. Mimi naomba niwache wenyewe. Bahati. Yes. Nice to meet you. What do you want? Actually, I lied I don't need any help. So, I just came to apologize about the day. I know I ruined your moment, but trust me there was nothing going on between me and Jeroz. I know he told me. I'm not happy since the day. My soul has never rested thinking about how I treated you. I feel guilty for what I did to you. Please forgive me. It was not my intention. There is nothing to forgive. I did you wrong. Because you had a reason to do me wrong. Just forgive me, even if you don't see my mistakes, I'm not happy at all. Okay, I have forgiven you. Thank you. Anything else? Can we be friends? I'm not good at friendship. Me too, we can be perfect for each other. Excuse me if you don't mind. I have to finish this work. Okay, see you later. Okay. Da Judith, naomba uniazime gauni lako. La nini tena? Mwenzako mzungu mweusi kaja. Si nikamchana live. Acha awe mdogo. He, kaniumba msamaa. Huyo ndo anataka aweke mambo sawa kwa kunipeleka Dina. Wacha we. Acha tu nakwambia. Kaniumba msamaa huyo leo hadi kakoma. He, ongela mwanzetu, watu mpo na nyota zenu. He, acha tu. Vipi hapa nimependeza? Umependeza sana tu. Na najua vile anaogopa nimechukia, atanunulia kitu chochote kile. Basi mtulete zawadi, sio kila siku kutuazima nguo tu. Zawadi gani unataka? Yoyote ile, bora iwe nzuri tu. Hata usiofu, yaani leo unaenda kumtia hasara huyo. Haya mdogo wangu kila laheli. Mambo bahati. Nzuri za kwako. Safi tu, unaelekea wapi? Alafu sura yako sio ngeni, tumeshawahi kuona na wapi? Ah, bahati, acha basi, na maana hunijui. Na hisi na kujua kwa sura ila jina. Mhm. Hii sura sio ngeni. Okay, naitwa Gomaka, niko pharmacology. Oh, watu na pharmacology zenu. Wa Afrika basi tuna chetu, kila kitu ni mapokeo tu. Nimefurahi kukufahamu sasa sababu mambo ya dosage na dosage regime yanachanganya kweli kweli. Hivi nilikuwa sija kujibu, unaelekea hostel. Basi bwana, safari njema. Asante. Bahati, samahani lakini naweza kupata namba yako muda mwingine nikuulize maswali. Sio mbaya, hata mimi nina maswali mengi kweli kweli ya farmers ya kukuuliza. Naombeni muingie ndani tafadhali. Sawa, asante daktari. Vipi mzee, unaendeleaje? Nashukuru Mungu naendelea vizuri ingawa miguu yangu iko vile vile. Ah, mzee, tiba na kupona sio siku moja. Kupona ni kitendo cha muda mrefu, unachohitaji ni kufuata masharti ya matibabu na kuwa na imani. Ah, sawa daktari. Sasa mama na mzee, nilichowaitia hapa nina habari nzuri na nyingine sio ya kufurahisha sana. Kuna nini tena baba yangu? Usiogope mama, hakuna chochote kibaya. Lakini umesema una habari mbaya. Umenisikia vibaya mzee wangu, sijasema mbaya, nimesema haifurahishi. Sasa kama haifurahishi si mbaya hiyo. Hapana mzee wangu, uh, naomba tusikilizane kwanza. Sawa daktari. Kama tulivyoambia hapo awali, bado tulikuwa tunaendelea na vipimo mbalimbali mbali tukiangalia jinsi gani afya ya mzee itakavyotengemaa. 
Simliniambia kuwa mnanipima ili mjue kama nitatembea tena au hapana. Baba Bahati, hebu tulie basi. Daktari Maliza anachotaka kutuambia. Sawa, endelea dokta. Mzee, hapo kwenye kutembea ndio hiyo afya nzima tunaiongelea. Sababu hiyo miguu ina misuli, ina maji, ina damu, mifupa na vitu vingine vingi tu. Sasa hivi vitu vyote vinatakiwa kuwa kwenye hali nzuri ili hiyo miguu iweze kufanya kazi. Ndio. Sasa siku zote hizo ulizokuwa unakuja kliniki, tulikuwa tunajaribu kuangalia kila sekta ya mwili wako kama inafanya kazi vizuri. Ndio. Tumechunguza na tumekufuatilia kwa muda wote huu na hatimaye leo tumefikia tamati na kupata majibu yetu husika juu ya suluhisho la hali yako. Nitatembea tena dokta kweli mimi. Mzee usiogope, hebu nisikilize kwanza mimi. Hapana, nijibu tu kwanza hilo swali moja niwe na amani. Utatembea mzee wangu, kama tu utafuata na kuzingatia masharti tunayokupa. E, mke wangu, mama bahati umesikia nitatembea tena eh? Hatimaye nitatembea tena. Asante Mungu, asante sana kwa kusikia kilio changu.